hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm excited to come your way again with another video how are you all doing thank you so much for coming i appreciate it greatly guys you know that teddy super eagles they are going to be playing uh code of war the host team in the half country with three tomorrow and uh super eagles are preparing hard for the match however the news coming out of uh, the calm from coach Pesero is not palatable, it's not a good one as the coach has iterated that uh, um, Hassan Yusuf have been ruled out of that match. But before I go further into it, please, if you are here for the first time and uh, you are here to subscribe to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Press the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I post new videos and also help as much as you can to. To share the video okay and to all my amazing subscriber and my friends out there the new and returning subscriber please help and watch this video to the end give me a thumbs up and share the video as much as you can if it is possible for you to do i will so much appreciate it having said that let's go straight into the gist okay <coughs> excuse me all right i've i've come to three which Pesero rule out as now you soon of the Super Eagles versus Cote d'Ivoire match. Hassan Yusuf won the art of many Nigerian football enthusiasts with his impressive 68 minute uh, display in Nigerians' clash against Equatorial Guinea before he was uh, pulled out because of injury. And the Super Eagles head coach, Joseph Pesero, has confirmed that the Royal and Web player will be unavailable. For tomorrow's game against Cote d'Ivoire. The former Tiki Taka FC player was stretched off during Nigeria's opening match of the 2023 African Cup of Nations against Equatorial Guinea. Responding to an inquiry about Yusuf's condition after a scan, uh, Joseph Pesero stated that the defensive midfielder won't be ready for the Ivory Coast match. Or might be available for the subsequent games. Yusuf is out for, from tomorrow's game. There are no other injuries. It's good news from, from yesterday. But for this match, he, Hassan Yusuf, is not ready, but the next game, he can be. Okay? That's authoritatively confirmed by the coach of the Super Eagles. Why, uh, Hassan Yusuf injury has raised concern among Nigerian football fans ahead of the crucial clash against Ivory Coast. There is uncertainty about his availability for the rest of the African tournament. Rumors are circulating that he might be ruled out for the might be ruled out for the remainder of the competition due to an injury. As the Super Eagles seem to secure all points in the upcoming match against Cote d'Ivoire. The absence of Yusu has an element of uncertainty to Nigeria midfield. All right, so the coach has confirmed that Hassan Yusu is will not be ready for to, tomorrow's crunch match against uh, Cote d'Ivoire. Well, I hope other players in this in the cup will step up and. Uh, fit in into the midfield and make sure that uh, the Nigerian perform to their best form. They should give out their best and their A game tomorrow against the host. The, uh, of course, you know that uh, the Cordova, the elements of Ivory Coast, they started the AFCOM with a brilliant 2-0 victory over Guinea-Bissau, while the Super Eagles played a, or a very frustrating and disappointing one all draw against uh, Equatorial Guinea. Well, there's still hope for the Super Eagles if they can navigate their way past uh, Cordova tomorrow in a match that will be very explosive and very, very tough match. Okay, it's possible, it's doable. Super Eagles can do it. I'm sure of that. The issue is that any players that step into the pitch tomorrow should know that they are not only representing themselves, they are representing over 200 million Nigerians. 
that will be rooting for them to beat Cordova. Guys, what is your opinion about that? I like I like you to you know come up and uh, let me know what you have to say. What do you have to say about the match coming up? And uh, Arsenal, who do you think can step in and play that position where even more better than Arsenal? You so he played an excellent game. Don't forget against uh, uh, Equatorial Guinea, but he was pulled out of the encounter in the 69th minute after he sustained an injury. So, he will, he's not available. Who do you think will step in to play his role? Let me know if you have an idea and what you have to say about the match altogether. If you have any advice for the, for the team, let me also know. What tactics should the Super Eagles put in place to make sure that they are victorious tomorrow? Please, all this should be put down, should be written down in the comment section for people to see and read. Thank you so much if you have watched this video to this end. Uh, let me say, if you have not subscribed, please, I remind you to consider subscribing to the channel. Press the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I post new video. And to all my friends that have been very, very supportive, thank you. Keep on supporting, keep on sharing, and keep us watching our video. Guys, it is possible for you to attain the best in whatever you do. All right? If you can dream it, you can achieve it. If you can dream it, you can what? You can achieve it. That's all about I have to share with you at the moment. I can only wish the Super Eagles the very best tomorrow in that crunchy man. And so, let me say, let me sign out by saying to you, guys, for now, bye, bye.